Notice the difference between these two squats based on toe angle. Christopher came to see me with difficulty squatting deep with his toes forward, sensing a blocked sensation in both hips, and noted his toes constantly spun out to the side. However, when I asked him to turn his toes out to the side slightly, he could squat much deeper and felt less blocked in his hips. Here's why. When I assessed his hip rotation in a seated position, he had limited internal rotation and excessive external rotation on both sides. He also had limited hip internal rotation and excessive external rotation when lying on his stomach. This pattern in both positions is significant of retroversion, meaning his hip joint is angled more to the side than most people. Now we also need to talk about how his hip anatomy, particularly the depth of his hip sockets, could potentially limit how deep he could squat. Listen in to my assessment of his hip socket depth next. Now, from right here, if I were to go straight forward, okay, we're looking at how far this hip can go without your back turning under, okay? So from right here, let me know when you start to feel that pinch. Right there. That's barely a 90 degree position, mm -hmm. right? Now if I go out to the side a little bit, and I get a little bit further. I don't feel anything yet. Okay. Right there. Or right there. Okay, and you can see how deep that is. It's a little bit further, right? Right there, you pinch right there. Right here, I can go a little bit further. But even then, I can't get your knee to your chest, right? So, think about that. Your hip socket, the way it's designed, is not shallow enough for you to go that deep, no matter which position you're in. Mm -hmm. It's just the way your body's designed. It's not a bad thing, we just have to recognize it. Right. And unfortunately, you weren't meant to be an Olympic weightlifter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. So jump up here and let me show you what, what mine looks like. So in comparison, I can pull without my back moving my entire knee all the way up and all the way out here. Mm -hmm. And it's just my hip sockets are just more shallow than yours, right. which is why I'm able to get a much deeper squat. Mm -hmm. And it's not a good or bad thing, but it's just now we know, right? right? We're still going to try to do as best as we can because I don't think that we should ever base our entire um, methodology for how I want you to squat just on your anatomy. Because mm -hmm. you probably haven't reached your max potential with your mobility, right? Right. You got a little bit of stiffness in the ankles, we can probably improve your rotation of the hips just a little bit mobility-wise. Mm -hmm. um, and in doing so, we're gonna find what's most optimal for your body. Therefore, during our treatment, we then work on ankle mobility and hip internal rotation with banded joint mobilizations, and then after discussing how to create external rotation torque at the hips using a band and create a stable foot, we ended up with a much more optimal squat for his anatomy.